Welcome to the West Chicago Public Library's Virtual Help Center. These instructions are specific to Android devices. This tutorial was recorded on a Samsung Galaxy tablet, so the screens may look slightly different depending on what device you're using. In this video, we'll show you how to download the two apps you'll need to borrow electronic materials from the West Chicago Public Library. Before we begin, you'll need your valid West Chicago Public Library card. Using a combination of two different apps will enable you to access all of the ebook formats and one of the two e audiobook formats. We'll touch on file types later in the video. Access the Google Play Store to download the free apps. You will need the Overdrive Media Console to download most ebooks and all e audiobooks through the library. Additionally, the Kindle app, which is also free, will enable you to access our Kindle collection as well. You will need an Amazon account to utilize this service. At this point, you can pause the video while you locate and download the apps. With both of these apps successfully installed, open your web browser and go to the library's homepage at www.westchicago.lib.il.us. The address is located on the front side of your library card. Scroll about halfway down the page on the right-hand side, and you'll find the direct link to My Media Mall. By going here directly, you'll be able to see the entire electronic collection. Ebooks also appear in the library catalog, but if you wish to download a book, it's simpler to go here first. Before you begin browsing, it's important to log in. Each library's electronic holdings are slightly different. By logging in, you can search more effectively. Choose your home library, then enter your 14-digit library card number and PIN. If you've never established a PIN, the default is Change Me, all lowercase and all one word. Please call the library at 630-231-1552 and press 0 for a staff member to reset your PIN. Once logged in, you will see your account. It's important to mention that as of December 2012, my Media Mall is in the process of upgrading their user interface. If you're browsing on a desktop computer, these screens will look different and the searching will be much easier. Their mobile site, which you are looking at now, hasn't yet been upgraded. We can now begin searching or browsing the collection. If you select Browse, you can see the different file formats that are available. Ebook formats, as opposed to e-audiobooks, are EPUB, Open EPUB, and Kindle file types. To begin, select the EPUB option. Notice the library owns several thousand titles. Watch what happens when we select the option to display only available titles. That number is dramatically reduced. Many people think that because the book is electronic, there are no restrictions on how many people can use it at once. But the user license works much like a print copy. The library only has the right to lend what we own. We can't make copies, even electronic ones, without violating copyright. Moving on. Once you locate a title you wish to read, select the Add to Cart option next to the EPUB version. Many titles are available in multiple formats, and the combination of the two apps we downloaded earlier will enable you to utilize all of them. The EPUB version of this title is now in the shopping cart, where it will remain for 30 minutes. You may continue browsing and add up to five titles to your digital bookshelf or proceed to check out now. The book is now checked out to you. If you click download, the EPUB will launch using the Overdrive Media Console, which we installed earlier. The first time the console opens, please take a moment to read the navigational information. You can now enjoy your EPUB book. If you wanted to listen to a book instead of reading it, simply look for MP3 file formats and download exactly as you just did. These books will launch in the Overdrive Media Console as well. To utilize the Kindle app, we will go back a few steps to where we were browsing by collection. This time, select Kindle Books, and again select Available Now, and the number of titles drop considerably. You can place holds in My Media Mall if the book you're looking for is checked out. Find a book available in Kindle format and add to cart and check it out just as you did with the EPUB. This time, when you select Download, you'll be directed to Amazon, where you'll need to log in to your account if you haven't already done so. 
On the right side of the screen, you can select Get Library Book, below which will display the name of the device to which the book will be transferred wirelessly. You will be rewarded with a very polite message thanking you for borrowing the book. From here, you'll want to go back to your home screen or wherever your Kindle app has been saved and open the app. It should automatically sync, but if it doesn't, notice my screen says I have no titles on the left side of the screen. You can force it to sync by opening the menu in the upper right corner and selecting Sync and Check for Items. Your device will now check with Amazon and see that yes, you do have a book checked out and will kindly display it. Select the title and it will open for you to read. We hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to call us at 630-231-1552, extension 4, to speak to the ever-helpful reference staff. Thank you for watching.